Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a palette review as well as a tutorial um, of this look that I created using this Violet Voss Pro Palette. This is actually the Holy Grail palette. I'm not really sure what the actual name is, but we're just going to roll with it. Anyway, I did create uh, the look that I'm wearing today using this amazing palette. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, um, then keep on watching. All right, so I've already done my eyebrows and I did one of my eyes so this process could go a lot faster. I am using tape because I kind of want like a winged out effect. To start, I'm going to be using this Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base and I'm just going to dot that all over my eyelid and then I'm going to blend that with the beauty sponge. I'm not going to set it so I'm just going to put on like the very first shade right on top of it immediately so that the color sticks more. The first shade that I'm going to be using is this bottom one over here called Brownie Points. Next, I'm going in with this orangey shade over here called Hashtag, and I'm just going to put that one right above brownie points. So I didn't actually want a hashtag to show up that much, it's just to diffuse brownie points a little bit. So now I'm going to go in with Transition and use that as another transition shade, and I'm going to be putting that one right above hashtag. This is just sort of to blend them together and make it look a little bit more blended and diffused. So I'm going to do this step before I do everything else because on my other eye I did it after adding my eyelid shade. I'm going to be going into teddy bear a little bit to darken the outer V and a little bit of my crease before I cut my crease with some concealer. I'm going to be using some of this ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I'm going to be putting some of that in the back of my hand to cut the crease. Before it dries up, I'm going to go in with Toffee and I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. I'm going to go back in with Teddy Bear to basically fix the outer V. I purposefully left um, a little bit of my inner eyelid um, without adding Toffee on it because I'm going to go in with crystal and add that in the inner corner and the brow bone. Okay, so it looks kind of even, not really. I think I'm ready to take off the tape. I actually like how that looks alone, so I don't think I want to do any um, black eyeliner today because I don't want it to distract from the eyeshadow. Maybe I'll just do um, like tight line, add some falsies, and then I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera. I'll be back with uh, a full face, and we can get to talking about uh, this little guy. Alright you guys, this is the finished look, and I am really happy with the way this look turned out. I do have a full lookbook on my blog that I just posted yesterday. This video is just a bonus for you guys to see how I got this look and to also give my thoughts on the palette. My thoughts are going to be a little bit scattered for the video. Whatever I forget to say here, I will make sure to say that on my blog post, which I will also link down below for you guys. Um, but anyway, let's just jump right in to uh, my thoughts on this palette. I have to say that the formula is really, really good. Ever since um, I found out about Violet Voss a couple years back, I was always just so very intrigued by the formula to see if it really was as great as everybody else was saying. And I have to say, yes. Everything everybody else said that the formula is amazing, I have to agree with. The mattes blend so, so amazingly. I've had the chance to do looks on both dry and wet bases. And as you've seen here today, uh, this look is on a wet base. And I have to say, it actually looks really, really gorgeous, super pigmented. And even 
on a dry base the shadows are actually really really pigmented on their own you don't need to do um, any looks on a wet base if you don't like to or if you've never really tried that technique before technically speaking this palette has only eight matte shades and the rest are shimmers and keep in mind that this is a uh, 20 shade palette i do like that it has uh, some transition shades here and here and here and it also has a creamy white matte shade if you like to set your eye primer basically and it also has a couple of dark shades at the bottom here this one's a little bit more um, like a wine cranberry kind of shade whereas these lean more towards brown and obviously I used um, these two right here and so this is basically uh, how dark they look I am sure and super positive that you can make uh, these shadows look much much darker if you build them up even more I just chose to do um, this level of intensity with my eyeshadows because doing eye makeup on a wet base already increases that pigment by a lot as you can see I was able to blend um, the shadows fairly nicely and even though I'm the kind of person that is just so tired of gold shades I'm really really liking the one that is on my eyes right now it's not super super gold that it's like in your face but it's gold enough that you can wear for every day and I love that this palette I feel can do it all you can have like really basic everyday looks that are like barely there which again I have a full look book on my blog so go check out all the looks that I made with this palette I also like the fact that it has some pinky shades um, some brownie shades to basically um, create a smoky eye and it also has this wine shade to sort of play with it and add a little bit of color and more depth to the crease I appreciate the palette as a whole because I feel like you can do a lot of very uh, natural uh, daytime looks and at the same time, you could also uh, do nighttime looks. So if you already have created a look for the daytime, you could probably add some more shadows to just darken it and smoke it out for nighttime if you don't feel like taking off your makeup and doing it all over again. I think this palette works for that really, really well. I kind of have a love hate relationship with this palette for the simple fact that I love mattes and I love having a variety of mattes. At the beginning I kept feeling like I'm using the same shades to create a look and I'm just changing the shimmer basically that goes on the on the eyelid and yes some looks can turn out completely different by just changing the eyelid shade but I feel like I personally would need a little bit more variety in um, the matte shades because for example I feel like transition and bestie almost look the same I mean transition is just a little bit darker but when it comes down to it I feel like transition bestie and are you kidding me are kind of leaning more towards the same family just a little bit darker than the other the problem is the mattes that there's not enough variety in them I do like the variety in shimmers but again I prefer mattes so that's just my own personal preference and experience with this palette that doesn't take away from the fact that this palette is really really great I really loved playing with it I didn't know that I was actually going to be able to create uh, six looks in total but I ended up actually being able to achieve that um, and I really wanted to get in there and play with as many shades as I could I'm pretty sure that I've tried the entire palette except for three shades but I feel like all the shimmers are very consistent in terms of formula they're all really pigmented and really really nice and they reflect so so nice so um, let's do uh, swatches. So this is on Fleek, Glamping, and Cranberry Splash. As you can see, there is an amazing color payoff even with um, the lighter shades which are um, Ploof and Crystal. I'll just swatch Ploof. So as you can see, very very gorgeous. Actually, let's just try to swatch Crystal as well because I love it. It's like white white and it's just really really nice so I'll do that here I feel like you can't really see it but it's very white and it's also very very pretty so this is transition bad swatch I'm sorry this one's bestie and are you kidding me so as you can see, um, this one is called Transition and this one is Bestie. You can almost kind of see that they look similar. At least on my skin tone, on my eyes, not on my arm, they look very, very similar when I try to use them as transition shades, which I guess it's fine, but um, when I see similarities between um, shades like that, like obviously you can see on my arm that Bestie has like rosy nude tones, whereas this one is, leans a little bit more orange. But again, on my eyes, 
they look the same to me i feel like i can interchange them as i please i guess depending on your thoughts if you guys like um specific shades like transition and bestie then you definitely have two to go with so if you run out of one you basically have a second one <laughs> so as i've said they are highly pigmented they are blendable and they're also very buildable i don't want to sound like a broken record but um yes this palette is really good um i believe it's 45 dollars i think that is it's actually a really really great palette for the price it's definitely one of those palettes that um, you should have in your collection if you don't already yet have something like this I don't know what else uh, to say about this palette aside from the fact that I absolutely love it I love the fact that it comes with a gigantic mirror um, this palette does come in a cardboard uh, with magnetic closure which I think are the best pack kinds of packaging in my opinion it feels really really sturdy and it's also pretty thin and even though it's a large palette I do think that this palette could be travel friendly but yeah that's all of my uh thoughts on this palette make sure you guys go look at my lookbook to see everything that i created with this palette make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't also go follow my blog and my instagram etc thank you guys so much for watching uh, my video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next week bye